Hey YouTube, so I am on day three of my water fast and I have actually went down five pounds in only three days on this water fast. So it's been pretty successful so far. But on the other hand, um, on previous fast, I've actually slept better than I have not fasting or eating a full meal before bed. But on this fast, I have actually not been sleeping as much. But on the other hand, I am feeling like I have slept. Um, the lack of sleep hasn't affected me at work. It hasn't affected me mentally at all. Um, starting yesterday, I actually got what they call a fasting high. So um, I was feeling pretty good yesterday and I'm feeling pretty good today. And the only thing other than that was that was a little bit negative was I started getting a headache right before bedtime. Um, and as soon as I sit down and relax for, you know, more than an hour or two, um, a huge sense of fatigue comes all over my body. Um, but then again, I am very physically active at my job. So maybe if I wasn't quite so physically active at my job, um, I wouldn't have the same level of fatigue um, once I take a long rest, per se. So I also wanted to discuss with you um, one of the reasons I started getting into fasting was that I started experiencing some gall, what seemed like it was gallbladder pain um, when I first started getting from keto to carnivore. And you know naturally when you have gallbladder pain you the pain is worse when you're eating so I consciously it, it had nothing to do with trying to lose weight at the time I was just trying to heal my gallbladder so um, you know and get myself adjusted to the carnivore diet and so I, I started thinking about it I wasn't really feeling as bad as I thought I would so I looked up a documentary on Amazon Prime called The Science of Fasting and it was fascinating, you know, to see how much other countries implement fasting into their healthcare system. Um, it's a respected way to heal and do medicine in other countries. And so um, I just thought that was fascinating and it made me feel better about what I was doing. I said, well, I'm healing my gallbladder. I'm getting it ready for the carnivore diet. And so um, it, it made me feel pretty good about what I was doing. So then I wanted to take it a step further and read a book about it. So um, I know many of you probably heard of Jason Fung. Um, even though I'm more carnivore than keto and he kind of recommends mostly a keto diet. I read this book right here and um, it was fascinating just like the documentary and it got me into fasting so um, that really worked for me it really jump started my weight loss it's been pretty central to getting me to the goals I am now um, I have looked at other people on YouTube that talk about fasting like Cole Robinson of the snake diet and um, I posted some before pictures on his site and um, that's how you know I've gotten to looking at myself from an unflattering picture you know to try to motivate myself to not only stick to my diet but fasting so you know the main thing that I can tell you is that if you've got if you're motivated to meet your weight loss goals I think this is healthy um, I don't I don't think that you know that you need to eat all the time to get healthy when you're overweight. Um, you, you should you should do it within reason. I mean, I don't I don't advocate these super duper 30 day fast that some people are doing. Um, but I think it is a useful tool, and um, the negatives. You know, I feel like the positives outweigh the negatives. At least they do for me. So I will talk to you a little bit more about how the rest of my fast went and I will come up with some other things I want to discuss on the last day of the fast. Thank you for tuning in.